everyone, Nicole Steckline, technical agronomist for DeKalvin Asriel in Northeast Iowa. Coming to you again from inside of my office because it continues to be windy, rather chilly, and rather wet. Now because of those things, we're having a pretty slow start to plant 2020, 2022. And looking at the calendar, it's also starting to feel a little bit late. Adding on to that, the last two years, we've had a really early planting window and it's gone rather quickly. So we have had some people start to question, should I or when should I start changing the maturities of the corn hybrids that I'm planting? Adding on to a little bit of that nervous feeling is the fact that the last couple years, we have seen a great response to pushing the maturities later. So I think that's making some people a little bit more nervous. On top of that, um, so I, I wanna talk about when do we st start thinking about switching maturities, but I also wanna look at the soybeans a little bit. Now, be the last two years, again, we've continued to trend towards planting soybeans before corn because the conditions were good for planting, but we were still nervous about putting corn in the ground, so we've started putting beans in, and then we can focus on the corn. So I want to look at when do we abandon our plan of beans first, and do we start focusing on getting the corn in, and then go back to the beans. So let's discuss. So what we have here is a chart that's showing us the dollars and cents of making these maturity shifts. So along this axis here, we have return per acre because this is a financial decision. So this is taking into account yield loss, it's taking into account drying, and it's also taking into um, account if we, uh, if we don't make it to black layer and the yield loss and the drying costs associated with that scenario. So we've got dollars on this axis. Along the bottom, we've got planting dates. So we're starting at April 24th and we're looking at data all the way into June 8th. The other thing that we're looking at here is we've got three different lines. So this green line here, that's a full season hybrid, right? So how is it trending on a return per acre as we get later planting dates? The blue line is mid season hybrids. That red line is a short season hybrid. So what we're really looking for is where do these lines converge or where do they flip? So obviously if we have a good planting date, I mean this is why the trend has been to plant fuller season corn is because it is going to give us a better return, especially if we have a good planting date. Now as planting date starts to get later and later, we start losing some of the benefit of a full season corn. But the date at which you should think about switching is probably later than you think because we don't see these lines converge until May 24th in about that time frame. And we don't see them invert until almost June. So looking at that May 26th, 27th, 28th is when they actually flip. At that point, the end of May is when we should start thinking of switching from a full season to a mid-season hybrid. Now, I think the other thing that we need to look at this here is, okay, if I have to, if I have to adjust my, uh, my maturities, how far should I adjust it? And I wanna point out at the end here, at no point do you see either of these two lines below the red. So if we are looking at shifting maturities, let's only shift a couple of days. Don't completely upset the apple cart and go 10 days earlier a, because those hybrids are probably not going to be adapted to your geography. And then not only that, but the return simply is not going to be there. Now we need to de determine crop priority. Do we continue with the early soybeans, even though we aren't really early planting yet? Or do we ab abandon the beans first attitude now and go and prioritize our corn? Or are we missing out on, on all that extra yield potential from getting our beans in the ground on time? So let's first look at the breakdown of where you're living at. So this is the optimum corn planting date map put out by Iowa State University Extension. Um, that north central to northeast Iowa, optimum corn planting date, April 12th to the 13th. Northwest to central Iowa to east central Iowa, April 15th to May 9th. And then you get that bottom tier of Iowa, April 17th to May 8th. Now, I know it seems a little bit backwards. You would think that, you know, the further north you go, the, the later you would get those optimum planting dates. 
but the reason why you have a shorter window in Northeast Iowa is because the later we plant, if we plant late um, in Northeast Iowa, that hurts us more than it does in East Central or in Southern Iowa because we don't accumulate as many GDUs through the season, so we don't get to um, we don't get to kind of make up for late planting like they do further south. So getting it planted in in a good time is more important the further north you go. So those are our optimum planting dates. But what's really going to be important is on the corn as opposed to on the soybeans, at what point do we really start hemorrhaging yield potential because of planting date? So let's first look at the corn. So we look at the corn and that slope really doesn't start to really dive down hard until about May 18th. Looking at the soybeans, that date is about the 20th. So, I mean, honestly, ideally, we would be planting these at the same time, but I'm with you. We don't have more than one planter. So really to find that date of when do we switch, we're going to want to look at these two graphs superimposed on top of each other. So that solid green line, that's the soybeans that we just looked at. That dotted yellow line is the corn. I really want to focus on that, um, that period between May 10th and May 18th where those lines start to diverge. So around May 12th, 10th, that's when we're going to start to lose that yield potential where soybeans are going to tend to hang on to that um, until May 18th. So between the 10th and the 18th, that's when we're going to keep on focusing on the corn to get it in the ground um, so we can get those beans in the ground, um, be done planting those by about May 18th. So that's all the confusing information I have for you today. As always, if you have questions, call, text, or email.